This week, I've got an awesome tip on backing up, sharing, and downloading worlds on the Pocket Edition. Yes! Netcasts you love from people you trust. This is Twit. Video and audio bandwidth provided by Cashfly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. This episode of OMG Craft is brought to you by Audible.com. Download a free audiobook of your choice. Go to audiblepodcast.com slash OMG Craft. And welcome to OMG Craft. I am your host, Chad Johnson. This is the show that will help you become a Minecraft expert. You just rub it in at all those kids' faces at school that think that they're the experts. You're the expert. This week, I am so excited because ever since we started OMG Craft, I have been getting email after email asking us to do an episode on the Pocket Edition. Your wish is my command. This episode will be explaining how to share your Pocket Edition worlds, even download new ones, make sure everything is backed up, all that stuff. We'll be going through how to do this on iOS and Android so nobody should feel left out. First, let's go ahead and do it on iOS. Of course, I'm going to be doing this with a computer. You can do it just off of your iPad, but you need a jailbroken device. So I'm gonna cover how to do it without a jailbroken device. And I'm assuming that if you've jailbroken your device, you can just follow along and and you're a hacker anyway. You'll need to use a program called iExplorer. Go ahead and download that to your computer. There's a free version and a paid version, but the free version should just work uh, fine. Go ahead and connect your iDevice to your computer. Uh, And if you're using the free version like we are, just go ahead and click Continue with Demo down there in the corner. Now you're going to navigate to Files, Apps over here, and these are all of the apps that you have on your iDevice. Go ahead and find Minecraft. So we're going to have to go through the E's and the G's and the H's and the L's to find Minecraft Pocket Edition. Go ahead and double click into that. Now you have a whole bunch of different files. You're going to need to navigate to Documents, Games, Com.Mojang, Minecraft Worlds, and dun da da These are your world saves, these folders right here. So if you would like to back these up to make sure that, like, your parents are like, you, you have to delete your entire iPad, or you're getting a new one and you want to transfer these files, uh, Uh, these worlds, go ahead and save these folders. They're going to have these chunk.dat and entity and level.dat and stuff like that. So just grab these and copy them off onto your desktop. Now, I have a few that I have downloaded from the internet. So I'm going to go ahead and drop these in here because these should be great games to play later when I'm on the road. So just go ahead and drop them in. They will copy over to my iPad and I should be able to play these later. The Minecraft's Worlds folder is the same folder as on the PC side that's named Saves, so just think of it that way. Also, this iExplorer application should work both on the Mac and the PC, so you're all good to go there. So that's how you uh, transfer worlds on your iDevice. But what if you are like me and you have an Android phone? Well, let's get into that. What I suggest is an app called AirDroid. You're just going to download it to your phone and you don't need to install anything on the computer. You just open up a browser. When you navigate your web browser on over to web.airdroid.com, you're given this page. And then on the app, go ahead and click the scan QR code button and you are able to scan that into your app. Now the browser is synced with your phone. So I can do things like navigate to files, which is what I really, really want. On this phone, I need to uh, navigate to system. It's going to tell me, whoa, you're, ta- you're, you're doing stuff in the system, man. You okay with this? I'm like, yeah, because I'm a hacker pro. Then you're going to navigate to this MNT, which stands for mount, and then SD card, then games, then com.mojang, then Minecraft Worlds, and then here are your Minecraft Worlds. I went ahead and added the uh, worlds that I did on the iOS device, but if you would like to 
add them as well. You can click the upload button over here in the corner, drag files onto here, even folders. Uh, so you can drag a whole folder on and it'll upload the whole folder. And if you would like to save any of these, you can select one and click download and it will download the file as a zip. Really, really convenient. AirDroid is the best. So this is how you get worlds off of your device or onto your device. But if you wanted a cool, creative, awesome world, where would you go? Well, I would suggest the Minecraft forums. They have a great, it's a great resource where people can upload Pocket Edition worlds they've created, like Skyblock and a whole bunch of other stuff. Let me actually get into some really cool, cool worlds in just a second. But first, let's thank our sponsor of this episode, Audible.com. Audible.com is a leading provider of audiobooks with more than 100,000 downloadable titles across all types of liter literature, including fiction, nonfiction, periodicals. For listeners of OMG Craft, Audible is offering a free audiobook to give their service a try. One audiobook that you may consider downloading, I kind of covered it a little bit ago, but A Short History of Nearly Everything by Bill Bryson. I love this book. I was turned on to it because it was suggested on my Audible list. It is what the title says, a short history on nearly everything, covering really awesome scientific stuff in a really manageable format. I, I cannot think of a better book to listen to while mining forever in-game or or trying to kill time on the road. I love A Short History of Nearly Everything by Bill Bryson. But you can get this book for free or choose any other one credit audiobook off of Audible by heading over to audiblepodcast.com slash omgcraft. That's right, a free book from audiblepodcast.com slash omgcraft. Now, let me go ahead and show you some of my favorite Pocket Edition worlds. I'm going to go ahead and do that on the iPad. So the first map that I'm gonna show off is a classic. This is Skyblock. You are given a tiny plot of land and a single tree and nothing else. And you have to adventure through this desolate nothingness to find more little teeny tiny islands that are just floating everywhere. And every single block matters to you. You have a, uh, a, a bucket, and what is that? What is this red thing? Ice, oh, I have ice, it doesn't have a, uh, a thing. So, so that ice will give you water, and the bucket will give you lava, and you can create a tiny cobblestone generator and move forward uh, through this island just using those material. Fun, classic sky block. Now, I wanna show off some amazing builds that other people have done. Uh, first one is uh, Taz Tazadar. Sorry if I'm butchering your name. This is a huge city with gigantic skyscrapers. Um, you're in creative mode, and it's just a fun thing to explore and check out uh, everything that he has done. It is so big and so awesome especially if you wanted to open this up for other people to join your pocket edition. Uh, you know, maybe, maybe cheat and say that you made it. Uh, that'd be kind of cool. Um, but just love this map. The next mega build is Minas Tirith from, of course, Lord of the Rings. You'd have to be retarded not to know that. I just got it because it just looked cool. Is this the Lord of the Rings build? Yeah, it's like the it's it's the biggest city in in Return of the King. It's where the giant oh, battle is. Oh yeah, it's the at the top of the thing. Okay, Come Minas on. Tirith. Um, it is so awesome. It is huge, and it uses these cool quartz blocks. You have the awesome uh, you know tower where the king is, where he gets like thrown off at the end of the movie or something like that. I kind of forget exactly what what happens to him up there. But it is this huge city of awesomeness to check out. And of course, it's all from Lord of the Rings. So uh, enjoy. Oh, by the way, if you didn't know, you can, you can fly in Pocket Edition. So I could just uh, run around and check out the whole Dern build because this one is in creative mode. Really, really neat stuff. And I'm so glad that people have put in the time to build these awesome, awesome worlds um, inside of the Pocket Edition version of the game. So, 
Get your Pocket Edition Minecraft on, and now that you can save and make sure that your files are all fine and you can add new worlds, I think that this will really help out your Pocket Edition game. Thank you so much for watching this episode. If you would like to subscribe to future episodes, make sure you head on over to twit.tv slash omgcraft, and there are links to audio versions, video versions, the YouTube stuff, everything is there for you. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time on OMG Craft.